good morning students so in the last class or in the last video we have seen exercise 2b and till third till fourth question we have done now only three questions are remaining and in this video we'll complete our exercise by doing those three questions okay i'm starting with fifth question and fifth question is also the same that is factorization we have to do and on the expression it is an expression of form ax square plus bx plus c okay so i'm doing a part that is 10a square plus 17a plus 3 we need to factorize this okay so whatever you have studied in uh, the previous four questions the same concept we are going to use but in a different way okay so let us start with this one till now what you were seeing you are seeing a single term that means you are doing the questions which starts with x square or a square there is no coefficient accompanied with a square or x square but now we have the questions in such way so see the way of doing the algorithm of doing the question is same but we need to do some twist in it what is that twist see you have this constant term and you have the coefficient of this what we were doing previously we were taking this and we are find we were finding the factors of this one but now what we have to do we have to multiply this 3 and this 10 that means the constant term and the coefficient of this x square or a square or whatever it is so 3 into 10 what is 3 into 10 this is 30 now what are the factors of 30 1 is divisible by 30 2 is divisible by 30 3 is divisible 4 is not divisible 5 is divisible 6 is divisible by 30 then uh, this will uh, this is 15 and 30 itself these are the factors of this term 30 how this 30 came on multiplying 3 by 10 now you have to split this 17 in such a way by taking help of any two number from this section so how can we get 17 by 15 and 2 by this 15 plus 2 we will get 17 so we need to uh, break this 17 in 15 and 2 so let us write this is 10 a square plus this 17 can be written as uh, what I have told this is 15 and this 2 so 15 plus 2 and this a will be as it is plus 3 okay now multiply this a inside the bracket so 10 a square plus 15 a plus 2 a plus 3 now take common from these two so you need to extract something that means how much you can extract a and from this one this is 5 so take 5a common inside the bracket you will get 2a plus here it will be only 3 okay if you won't understand this step multiply 5a inside 5a into 2a it will be 10a square 5a into 3a 15a plus from this one you can take one common because nothing is there to take common from this one so 2a plus 3 then this 2a plus 3 this 2a plus 3 again you can take common okay so 2a plus 3 and we are left with 5a plus 1 so this is your final answer okay now let us come to c question in this question again the same we are going to do as of we have done in a1 uh, what we have to do we have to take this 12 and 6 12 into 6 this is what 72 now what are the factors of 72 1 2 3 then 4 then 6 and uh, then uh, it is uh, 8 then 9 then uh, 12 and so on like if it is 72 it have it has many factors but what is more important we need this 17 how to get 17 from this one of two values by taking 8 and 9 by taking the help of 8 and 8 and 9 and on adding them we'll get 17 so how to write uh, 8 plus 9 so this is 8 plus 9 into x plus 12 now multiply x inside the bracket so 8x this minus n plus will be minus of 9x plus 12 from these two you can take 2x common inside the bracket you will get 2x minus 4 and from here you can take 3 common so 3x minus 4 3x minus 4 3x minus 4 you can take common so you are left with 3x minus 4 bracket 2x minus 3 this is the final answer 
Okay, now let us come to F question. It says 7 minus 4A minus 3A square. So in this question, this is not the arranged one. We need the form where it starts with the squared term, then one variable, the single variable, and then the constant. So we need to arrange it in the proper way. So arranging it. So uh, this will be minus of 3A square minus 4a plus 7 now what are the what we need to multiply this 7 and this minus of 3 the 7 into minus of 3 will be minus of 21 okay so uh, minus of 21 you say or just 21 what are the factors of 21 1 3 7 and 21 itself how to get this 4 we uh, we need 4 on subtracting why subtracting uh, because such type of question we have already seen it before when you have two subtraction cases then we go for the subtraction case okay so we see for subtraction not for the adding that means i'm not asking you that how to get four from this uh, on adding any two number from this four i'm asking you that you have to subtract that means on subtracting uh, three from seven will get 4 okay so let us write uh, 7 minus 3 a plus 7 multiply seven, uh, minus inside so uh, multiply minus also inside and a also so minus of 7 a plus of 3 a plus 7 from this you can take minus of a common so you are left with 3 a plus 7 and from this one you can take one common so 3a plus 7 okay 3a plus 7 3a plus 7 you got now uh, so this will be 3a plus 7 and minus of a plus 1 or you can write it as 1 minus a so 3a plus 7 into 1 minus a like that okay Okay, let us do this question uh, again uh, what we have to do uh, starting with minus 1 into 20 so it will be minus of 20 we are doing h1 so minus of 20 or let us see 20 what are the factors I'm writing 20 is equal to so uh, actually it is factors of 20 you write okay 1 2 uh, this will be 4 and 5 10 20 okay if I miss any of the factor, please you can add because in flow I could I could forget to write. Okay, so you can understand that is you can like common thing. So 20 1 2 4 5 10 20. Now I will ask you that how to get this 1 because this is 1 1 x 1. How to get 1 on subtracting 2. Why? Because this is a negative case. Two negatives are there. So we'll see for the negative 1. So how to get 1 on subtracting 5 from 4. So let us do that. 20x minus 5 minus 4 into x minus 1. Okay. Multiply. This minus will also go inside and this x also. They both will go inside. So minus of 5x. This minus and x. Minus minus will be plus and this will be 4x minus 1. From this one you can take 5x common. You are left with 4x minus 1 plus. From this you can take 1 common. So 4x minus 1. Alright. 4x minus 1 you can take again this common. And you are left with 5x plus 1. This is the answer. Okay, let us come to sixth question that is based on the miscellane uh, miscellaneous factorizations. Uh, I'm doing B1. Okay, x plus one the square plus x minus five. This is the question. We need to factorize. Okay, so I guess uh, we have to open this bracket and get the. We have to simplify in it the form ax square plus bx plus c. Okay, so let us so, uh, solve the bracket. This will be x plus a the whole square. a plus b whole square identity is what? x square plus uh, 2x plus 1. Now, 
on opening this bracket I got this now you have to understand how I got I've used a plus b the whole square identity this is very easy to understand I'm not explaining this okay and x minus 5 okay x square as it is 2x plus x you will get 3x and plus 1 minus 5 minus 4 you will get now this is of form a, uh, x square plus uh, a plus b times x plus a b okay so what to do the things which we did previously the same we have to do take this for uh, this this minus 4 or or just 4 what are the factors factors of 4 1 2 and 4 itself okay uh, so this is 3 I told you this is of minus case because the minus uh, this is the minus case so we need to uh, take two terms from the factor of 4 so that on subtracting them should get 3 so x square plus 4 minus 1 okay this 4 and this one minus 4 okay then uh, what will happen this is x square plus take x inside so 4x minus x minus 4 okay now take x common from this one so x plus 4 and take minus 1 common from this one you will get x plus 4 so finally what you can write x plus 4 x plus 4 can be taken common and x minus 1 so this is your final answer okay let us do uh, d1 sixth d question okay this question says x minus 1 x plus 4 minus 50 we need to uh, multiply these two brackets and just simplify this question and then we will factorize let us multiply x x x square x into this will be 4x minus 1 into x x and minus 1 into 4 plus minus 50 x square 4x plus 4x minus x will be 3x minus 4 minus 50 will be minus of 54 now what to do we have to take the factors of 54 so factors of 54 will be 1 2 uh, 3 then 4 will not be there 5 will not be there 6 then 9 then uh, 10 11 12 will not be there 13 will be there and uh, 27 and uh, 54 itself okay so these are the factors this is of negative case okay 3 we want 3 on subtracting anything now see you have two combinations one combination says that if you do 6 minus 3 you will get the uh, 3 this one but you know when you'll solve that you no know, you won't get the correct result so we need to take this combination 9 minus 6 okay you can take 6 minus 3 and you can solve if you will do that no you will get some practice you will get some experience okay that uh, you will get some like experience of solving a question okay right now i'm doing 9 minus 6 directly okay then multiply this x inside so x square plus 9x minus 6x minus 54 then take x common from this one so x plus 9 and take minus 6 common from this one so x plus 9 then x plus 9 take common you are left with x plus 9 x minus 6 that's the answer let us do g question the last question of uh, the last part of this question okay so this was the question 2a cube x square minus 5a square x minus 12 a so uh, what to do in this one again take this 12 and this 2 okay so this will be 12 into 2 24 you need to find the factors of 24 what are the factors of 24 1 2 3 4 6 uh, 8 then 12 and then 24 these are the factors okay then uh, what to do in this one um, we need to this is of subtraction case because uh, what that means two negatives are there so we need five on subtracting the two numbers from the combination of these factors so what is the combination which you are seeing here uh, on subtracting 
see 8 minus 3 when you'll do 8 minus 3 we'll get the answer as 5 so let us do 2a cube x square minus 8 minus 3 a square x minus 12 a this is minus and this is a square x both of them you take inside the bracket remember if there is negative then the sign changes so minus of 8 a square x minus minus plus 3 a square x minus 12 a then from this one you can take two common a cube a square you can take a square common x square and x you can take x common in the bracket you will get x minus this is 4 you will be left and that's it because full a square x you are taking common so only 4 this is 8 so it will be 4 plus take 3 common from these two and what max maximum you can take a common you are left with x minus 4 all right getting then this x minus 4 and x minus 4 again you can take common and inside the bracket you will be left with 2a square x plus 3a now see again in this a is more uh, like some one more a you can take common from this one so you can take a common from this also no problem in that okay so take a common so a then x minus 4 and this will be 2ax plus 3 that's it okay the last question of the exercise uh, seventh question B1 I am doing and we have to find HCF and LCM as you already know what are, what are called HCF the highest common factor and LCM the least common multiple those you have studied in the previous class so if we want to connect this topic with our algebra the concept will be same what does the HCF says and what does the LCM says that will be same okay but we need to just uh, solve this polynomial and get the factors of it okay so let us solve this polynomial uh, see now for these two I'm directly solving it I'm not writing all those factors and all you write it on your copy okay so this minus 1 this can be split as minus x plus x minus this minus x can be split as minus 2x plus x okay now you have to understand how it came taking x common x minus 2 and from here taking one common okay x minus 2 x minus 2 and x plus 1 so the factors of this polynomial is this one now how to solve this one 1 6x minus 5x okay this one can be split as 6x minus 5x take common 6 x also you take common so this will be x plus 1 from here take minus 5 common so x plus 1 you are left with x minus x 6x minus 5 x plus 1 now what does the uh, lcm says we take all the we like uh, lcm in lcm what you have to remember you have to write all the things you have to sum up you have to take the union of all these factors except the repeated ones okay so x minus 2 then x plus 1 then from this one only 6x minus 5 because x plus 1 we already wrote okay so lcm says you have to take the union of all the factors and hcf what does the uh, hcf we write it as the common factor what is the common factor in this two x plus 1 okay so this is the answer all right so from in, in this same video we are going to head we are heading to the next topic or the next exercise and these are some of the identities or the formulas which we are going to use in our exercise which says that uh, a cube plus b cube is equal to uh, a plus b bracket a square minus a b plus b square a cube minus b cube the identity of it is a minus b bracket a square plus a b plus b square now how to remember these two that if this is of a cube plus b cube case then it will be a plus b and this you have to remember but in place uh, before a b negative sign and if it is a case of minus then here a minus b but all the things will be positive in the second bracket okay then comes the third identity a cube plus b cube plus c cube 
माइनस ऑफ थ्री ए बी सी इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी प्लस सी ब्रैकेट ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर माइनस ऑफ बी सी माइनस ऑफ सी ए एंड माइनस ऑफ ए बी और यू कूड अंडरस्टैंड दिस इट लाइक दैट इफ यू हैव ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब आइडेंटिटी देन यू कैन हैव ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब प्लस सी क्यूब आइडेंटिटी ऑल्सो सो ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब प्लस सी क्यूब आइडेंटिटी यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट एज ए प्लस बी प्लस सी सी इट इज somewhat same then a square and b square were there so we have a square plus b square plus c square and in here ab so we have ab bc ca okay and plus of 3 abc you have to write so in the what they have take what they have did they took this 3 abc this side so that's why it became minus of 3 abc okay now in this uh, one corollary you have to remember if your abc is zero okay if in case you get a plus b plus c equal to 0 then what you have to do you have to use this identity and in place of this a plus b plus c you have 0 and 0 multiply by this whole bracket it will become 0 so you only need to remember one thing that if a plus b plus c is equal to 0 then a cube plus b cube Plus c cube minus of three abc is equal to zero because zero multiplied by this your RHS will be full zero and when this minus of three abc will come here so it will be what plus okay so you will get this as a result okay so whenever you have a plus b plus c equal to zero then you have a result a cube plus b cube plus c cube will be equal to three a b c okay so you have to write this thing in your fair copy before starting the exercise whatever i explain before the exercise you have to write because this is the basic part so give the heading basics and then write all these identities and then start your exercise okay this is how we have started uh, exercise to see first question b part i'm doing uh, so see the first four questions you know they are based on the identity a cube plus b cube so you need to track what is your a b according to the identity you have to use it okay so i'm explaining this 206 216 a cube plus 1 this 216 is a cube of 6 and this is already a cube so we can write 6 a the whole cube plus 1 can be written as 1 cube no problem in that using the identity a cube plus b cube which says a plus b bracket a square minus ab plus b square okay in place of a you have 6a in place of b you have 1 so a plus b 6x 6a plus 1 then a square that is 6a the whole square minus ab 6a into 1 plus b square this is 1 square so 6a whole square will be 36a square this is 6a it will remain same and 1 square will give so this is the answer okay now come to the d question which says x cube plus 1 upon x cube now again x cube can be written as x the whole cube plus 1 upon x cube can be written as 1 upon x the whole cube now this is a cube plus b cube case so a plus b bracket a square which is x square minus ab a is x b is 1 upon x plus b square 1 upon x the whole square now here x to x will get cancelled and we are left with what 1 so this is your final answer okay so as i see that the second question which you can do third question also you can do because you need to use identity it and it is a like two or three liner solution but listen to me write the identity in each and every question why i am forcing you to do this because on writing more and more identities you will remember okay you that like if you think that on one day i'll sit and i'll learn all the identities then believe me within one or two months you will forget all the things it's better that whenever you use the identity just try to write there itself so more and more you write the more and more you by heart it you learn it and you keep in mind for a long time okay okay i'm doing fourth question uh, factorize a to the power 6 plus b to the power 6 and prove that its value is 0 if a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 is equal to a square into b square so let us factorize this 
and we have to prove that its value is zero. If you put a to the in place of a to the power four plus b to the power four a square into b square. So let us take a to the power six plus b to the power six. Now we know that can we write this a to the power six as a square the whole cube and this b as b square the whole cube because two threes are six. Here also two threes are six and we need a cube plus b cube case. That's why we are taking three out. Here also three out. Now in this we can apply uh, a cube plus b cube identity which says a plus b okay that is a square plus b square then a square the whole square why because uh, the identity is in bracket a square minus a b plus b square so it is already square so we need to again square it minus a square b square why a b was there in the identity and in place of a b a and b you have a square b square that's why it is like this and plus b square so a square plus b square this will be two twos are what four okay and this will also be two twos are four and i'm writing it closer to a to the power four minus of a square and b square okay now uh, see in the given part we are given a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 value which is a square b square so in place of this we can write a square b square minus of a square b square now as you, as we see that they both are cancelled or the answer of this is what zero so if this is zero then what can we write this a square plus b square into zero which is what zero so hence proved so you write here hence proved that the its value is zero if a to the power four plus b to the power four is a square b square now that's it for today's class now in the next class we'll try to complete this exercise do more and more questions and as well as the examples because in the examination we are not limited with the exercise questions you have to face you have to challenge the examples and the exercise so do more and more and when uh, if you start this exercise you know you just see all the examples you will have some idea of solving these questions okay then you can be more handy with such questions so that's it for today thank you so much